السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ما ڈی برادرز اینڈ ویوز آف سوشل میڈیا جس ریسنٹلی آئی میڈ اے ویڈیو ریگارڈنگ دا کلیرٹی اینڈ دا پیورٹی آف دا واٹر نا سمن ایڈوائز می اینڈ سیڈ او ہیو یو ٹرائی بوائلنگ دا ٹاپ واٹر اینڈ دین ٹیسٹنگ اینڈ سی واٹ ریزلٹس یو گیٹ سو ٹوڈے وی گین ٹرائی دس ایکسپیریمنٹ اینڈ ٹو سی واٹ ریزلٹس وی گیٹ So I've just put some tap water in. I'm going to boil the kettle and hopefully we'll test the tap water and see what results we get. So my dear Islam brothers and viewers of social media, uh, Alhamdulillah, after boiling the water, we poured the water into the glass, ready for the experiment and we'll see what results we get. So let's perform this test. One, two. Okay, um, so let's go through the results. Um, as you can see, I've got the list of the results on my left. This is what it should be. Now, we a few days before, on my previous videos, we tested the normal tap water. Um, and the, the results are here for that, as you can see. So we got fluoride, which was 50 when it's supposed to be zero, and sulfide, 10. Um, And then lead is supposed to be zero. We had 20. And then we got hardness, which is 25, when it's supposed to be 50 and between 125. Alkalinity, there's no alkalinity in this water, in the tap waters. So it's supposed to be 120 alkalinity, but we got zero in the tap water. The reason I'm covering this, uh, this is for my next video, which I've tested. Uh, I'll be showing you that one soon. I've got a key grid here, which says green is good. Pink for harmful, amber, orange, less harmful. So you can see the colors there. Um, so we're going by the boiled water. Okay, so we're going to see the difference between the normal tap water and the boiled tap water. Okay, so alkalinity, as we know, is normal tap water that we've boiled. And we're only getting same alkalinity on that as well. The pH level has not increased. Right. And the hardness is exactly the same as what it was. Okay. Lead, as you can see, we got 20 in lead and 20 in boiled tap water. And then as we move down, copper is exactly the same. So it's less harmful um, on there on copper. So we only got 1% of uh, copper in there. Iron, zero. Um, mercury, zero. As you can see, zero. Uh, chromine, uh, chromium, zero. Two and two, and then we've got bromine, which is zero. We've had a slight increase on the bromine, uh, bromine, uh, which when we boiled it, uh, I think it's something to do with the chemical. So do look at my previous videos, which I've discussed the points of the chemicals of bromine. So you'd be able to gain that knowledge from there. Or you can do your own research uh, by Googling and finding what bromine is and uh, what it does. Nitrate, zero. zero this fine the green areas now as you can see in boiled water after boiling it the fluoride has dropped from 50% to zero that's amazing now sulfite we had 10 right in normal tap water after boiling it we had zero it's amazing so these are the uh, so there is uh, a use of boiling the water and it does get rid of something so Um, I wouldn't restrict anybody saying don't boil the water. Yeah, so boil the water um, and hopefully. So right guys, that's the end of the test and uh, I hope uh, we've learned something today. Please bear in mind this test was for my knowledge uh, to experiment on boiling water and I've shared this information with others and you can purchase this from online, these 14 in 1 test results. And if you want to gain uh, your experience regarding this, um, you by well mean order this product. Um, so take care. I hope you drink some pure and clean water. Uh, remember me in your du'as. And inshallah, sallu alal habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad.